So um, I'm an assistant manager at a very popular men's clothing store. Okay. I just got transferred to a new, lo new location four months ago. My new boss is immature. He's twice my age, um, and he's very inappropriate. Um, I'm gonna give you examples. I've gone to the restroom, and he'll put like the gallon water bottles in front of the doors so I can't get out. Yeah, um, he has farted on me before. Yeah, he's farted on me before. <laughs> Yesterday was a whole nother story. I ended up like walking out of work because another situation happened and I just couldn't deal with it. Um, also, he, he, he's asked me for the numbers during the day because we have daily goals that we're supposed to meet. And I've sent him a picture of the numbers. They responded very professional. And then the response I got back was very inappropriate. I haven't told anyone but my mom. And she wants me to quit my job, but I'm a single mom and I'm doing it on my own. What do you think I should do? Oh, you ain't got to quit your job at this big clothing store you work for. It's a chain of them? Yeah, it's a chain, corporate. Yeah. There's a department called HR. Yeah. See, this ends today for you. You don't have to end your job. You have any text funny. message? Oh yeah. Oh, he gone. Yeah. No, no. You see, you got documentation. This has to stop now. Right. Uncle Steve, I'm telling you this. This has to stop. Because you ain't, you're not the first lady he's done this to. No. You, you're probably not going to be the last. And if you don't step forward and do something as a person who has a concern for not only yourself, but the people behind you, that's why you come forward. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Why, why have you not said anything up until this point? So, like, there's always that fear, right, of being the snitch. So what happens if no, you no, say... No, no, okay, oh, stop, I know, stop, but stop. I'm just saying, what happens if you say something? I, I'm fin let, let me stop you. Okay. Because I stop young people when I hear them say this word, snitch. Let me help you understand what snitching is. Snitching began way back at the beginning of mafia days, where if, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. And so when you got busted, the rules of... Gangsterism and hooliganism back then was you don't snitch. So when you go to prison, you just do your time. No snitching is for criminals. So now quit thinking about you a snitch because you're a law-abiding mother that's an employee of a major corporation. That's what you are. Snitches is in jail and snitches is in gangs and in the mob. You ain't in none of that. I tell re <laughs> report him. Don't be afraid. You got this. You don't even know. The other people that's getting all these pranks pulled on them, they're going to be grateful. They're going to really be glad he gone. So they could come to work and be in peace. Thank you. No, really, do that. Yeah. All right, everybody, we'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.